Okie dokie. In this video, we are taking a look at working with preview URLs in Graph CMS with SvelteKit. If you want to learn more about working with preview URLs, you can check out the documentation over on graphcms.com forward slash docs. For this example, we're going to be taking a look at a community submission from Darby Manning. There is one thing to note with this repo at the moment. It has some breaking changes which were shipped recently at the time of recording with SvelteKit for the request origin path and query and also for request and response in endpoints and hooks. I've submitted a pull request to this repository. So we'll take a look at that. We'll clone this. We'll go over to terminal. And we'll clone that. CD into the project directory. And then check out the branch name, which is patch one. Now we're on the right branch. We can install the dependencies. I'm using PMPM. You can use NPM or Yarn if you prefer. Okay, while it's been installed, let's check out the README here. So there is a live demo and you could deploy your own. We're going to take a look at the configuration here. So as I mentioned, this is based off of the Graph CMS blog starter template. So I'm going to need to create one now. I'm just going to go over to app.graphcms.com over to my dashboard and scroll down to create new project and select the blog here. So create post, give it a name. I'm going to leave the include template content checked. I'm going to pick the CDN closest to me, which is the UK and say create project. Now that's created, I can pick the free forever community plan and I'm going to invite my teammates later. So from the project dashboard, I can go over to my settings panel here. And I'm going to want to get the API access first of all. Let's copy that. And let's open up the project with VS Code. And I'm going to want to make a copy of this env.local example file here. So let's just go back on over to the readme. And let's just copy this. Terminal command, paste it into my terminal, and go back over to VS Code here and pick out the env.local file. We'll go on to paste in the URL, the content API, sorry. Paste that in there. I'm also going to want the prod auth token and dev auth token. They're in permanent auth tokens here. So I've got the prod auth token, let's copy that. Paste that in now. Get the dev auth token. Let's copy this. Put that in now. And the preview secret can be any secret you desire. I'm going to put that in for now and save that file. Go back on over to my terminal and run the dev command. Now I can select this and check out the project on localhost. So here we have the blog template generated from the CMS content on Graph CMS. So if I click on one of these here, I'll be taken over to that post. Go back on over to the blog here. So I'm going to want to set up preview links now on, you could set them up on any model. I'm just going to do it in the schema for the post model here. And in the ellipsis here, I can say edit, preview URLs. And I'm going to add one for dev for now. And this URL template will match what we're getting from a, a post here. So let's just take this, cut that from there. Put this in here. This is actually going to be for the preview.json endpoint. This is going to take in the secret we just defined. Which is over in our M file. Let's copy that. Put that in there. I'm also going to want to have the slug, which is going to be the slug from the model here. Let's hit update model. Now I can go over to the content 
all the posts. And you'll notice that these are all published at the moment. We've got one for technical SEO here. I'm just going to unpublish this. So if I go back on over to the project here and go back to the homepage, you notice that technical SEO isn't the first post here. If I go back on over to the content here, and let's say we want to add this as a draft, I can save that and go to the preview URL here, and it will open it up in preview mode for me. And I can also exit preview mode with this link here, and that will take me back to the home page. Okay, that's it for this one. I hope you found it useful and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.